within the moment. Let's start with um, Mr. John. Um, I know you're an economist and you are the head of the business council in East Africa. How is East Africa doing? Because Central Africa, when it comes to economic and business, is down. So tell us how is East Africa doing and what the business council has been doing so far. Thank you, Emmanuel. And I want to convey my greetings to my sister, Dr. Lucy. Uh, it is indeed a pleasure to share with you the insight yeah. uh, of the South African Business Council and the South African community. Uh, let me start with the South African Business Council. Uh, we are the voice and the mouthpiece of private sector in East Africa. East Africa is one of the fast growing regional economic communities among the, uh, the eight communities, uh, regional communities recognized by African Union. So we are at the forefront uh, in terms of uh, really looking at uh, a conducive business environment. And our role as a South African Business Council has been to engage uh, the partner states or so our governments in terms of uh, really ensuring that uh, uh, the business environment is conducive to do business, mm -hmm. uh, to do investment, cross-board investment, yeah. as well as to promote uh, foreign direct investment within our region. So you've asked how, how is the region doing? Uh, the region is doing quite quite well, commendable. Okay. And I wanted to share with you some some good insight that uh, which I want also Dr. Luz to look at when you look at the recent report by African Development Bank uh, on the East African economic outlook, uh, our average uh, GDP growth is around 5.1%. Wow. We, we, we are recording the highest growth across the continent. Oh, uh, some nice. countries like Rwanda are posting almost 8% growth. And others, uh, Uganda, Kenya, Tanzania are doing the same. So what I would say that uh, the public-private dialogue is working. It is working for the better of the region, but also for the better of the continent. So uh, we we are the East, East Africa. We believe that prosperity is created by the private sector. Mm -hmm. The role of government is really to uh, create a necessary environment for the private sector to drive growth, to drive job creation. And that is what we've been doing. And, um, our, our vision as a South African Business Council is a, a borderless East Africa for trade and investment. We want to dismantle those borders, the colonial borders, because they impact on our trade. They create barriers to trade. So with that, we've really seen uh, a number of uh, positive uh, trends, impressive records in terms of job creation within the region, in terms of growth, in terms of uh, foreign direct investment, as well as cross-border investment coming to the region. So we are also excited that uh, East Africa uh, is uh, playing a central role with regard to the continental free trade area. Uh, among eight countries that were among eight countries that were selected under a guided trade initiative, uh, three of them came from East Africa. Uh, wow. One is Rwanda, the second is Kenya, the third is the United Republic of Tanzania, and within the second phase that is being uh, finalized. Other member states are also coming on board under the trade initiative. We have already uh, taken advantage of the continental free trade area. Uh, we are trading with our counterparts in West Africa. We are trading with our counterparts in the uh, Sadak region. We are engaging our counterparts in the ECAS. So we are very excited. And what we are doing currently is really preparing our regional value chain not only to feed into continental value chain, but also into global value chain. And quickly, I would um, uh, mention some of the value chain we are pushing. Uh, that is um, uh, textile and garments. We are looking at leather, leather related products. We are looking at the automotive sector. We also are working on pharmaceutical value chain as well as creative value chain. Uh, that's because uh, a number of our youth uh, women in business are engaged are engaged into arts and creative industry. So I think it is very exciting, and uh, perhaps what to, what I, I want to mention is that uh, we we are, we are riding on a political wheel. Our heads of state, 
are really committed to ensure that the private sector drives the growth, drives the prosperity, and they are making all efforts to address some of the binding constraints uh, related to uh, transport and logistics, issues related to uh, patient capital or long-term finance, issues related to non-tariff barrier years which are related to customs procedures and uh, issues related to standards and SPS measures. So there is enormous efforts and excite excitement in East Africa that uh, we need to unite ourselves, we need to work together, government and, and, and the private sector, in order to achieve a win-win situation. Perhaps in the midst of their uh, Emanuela.